In Windows, there is a setting called Fast Startup. By default, it's activated. That means when you shut down your computer, Windows will store your computer's background processes in a file called hibernation file. So that when you turn on your computer again, Windows could quickly read the compressed contents from the hibernation file. This helps Windows to boot up faster after the shutdown. So what's wrong in keeping some processes in the memory alive? Well, if some Windows processes that are causing some system errors are not closed after you shut down your computer, then after turning back on your computer, these errors could still come back. In order to get a clean Windows start, you can follow any of the following solutions. First, if you would restart instead of shut down, then Windows will not create the hibernation file and will completely close all the Windows processes. So whenever you get a Windows error, then you must restart your computer instead of shutting down. The second option is to hold the shift key when clicking on shutdown. This will then skip the fast start up for that particular shutdown. The third option is to configure your power button to shut down your windows. And then whenever you want a clean start, use your computer's physical power button to shut down. Follow these steps to configure your power button to shut down your windows. Right click on the start and then select power options. In here, select additional power settings and then select choose what the power button do and here you need to simply change the option for when i press the power button to shut down if it is not already shut down and then click on save changes and finally you could disable the fast startup option in windows just bear in mind that by disabling fast startup your computer's boot time might increase slightly in order to disable fast start up, you need to come back to this setting where we choose what the power buttons do. And here we can uncheck turn on fast start up. By default, it would be grayed out. So to be able to change this setting, you need to first click on change settings that are currently unavailable. Then it would become available. And then you can uncheck this to turn off fast start up and Finally, click Save Changes and we are done. If you choose to disable your fast startup option, then by using an SSD drive instead of a hard drive, you might not get much of a difference in boot up time. You could learn how to upgrade to an SSD drive by watching this video on the screen. Please don't forget to subscribe to support my channel. Please also let me know in the comments which method you have selected to shut down your computer and why. Until next time, bye-bye.